was a German philosopher, critic of political economy, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, and a socialist revolutionary. Marx's critical theories about society, economics, and politics is collectively understood as Marxisms. Marx has been described as one of the most influential figures in human history and his work has been both lauded and criticised. Marx moved to London in early June 1849 and would remain based in the city for the rest of his life despite being denied British citizenship. He worked as a journalist there but never quite managed to earn a living wage. Marx was not wealthy throughout his stay in London. He and his wife had seven children together. From 1850 to 1864, partly owing to the poor conditions in which they lived while in London, only three of his children survived into adulthood. The death of his daughter was a particularly sorry affair, as Marx's wife had to beg people for money for a coffin so she could be buried. The surviving children were all taught to lie to creditors that came calling and his wife suffered numerous breakdowns due to the difficult conditions in which they were living. During all these years, Marx's friend Engels loyally contributed to Marx and gave him a lot of financial support. Engels' friendship was dear to Marx and he was incapable of being critical of him. Despite drinking alcohol before he joined the Trier Tavern Club Drinking Society in the 1830s, Marx became more of a drinker after joining the club and did so throughout his entire life. Marx was afflicted by poor health. He developed a serious nervous disorder in 1878 which led to prolonged insomnia which he battled with with narcotics. In 1863 Marx complained a lot about boils. He developed a catarrh after the death of his wife of Jenny in December 1881 keeping him ill for the last 15 months of his life. As a result of them, he contracted bronchitis and pleurisy and he died in London on the 14th of March 1883 at the age of just 64 as a stateless person. On the 17th of March 1883, families and friends in London buried his body in Highgate Cemetery in an area reserved for agnostics and atheists. It is reported that only 13 people attended his funeral. Him and his family laid here until November 1954 when Marx and his family were disinterred and reburied in a new site nearby. The tomb at the site was unveiled on the 14th of March 1956. Corin Redgrave was an English actor and activist. He was cast in such films as The Man of Four Seasons in 1966 as Thomas More's son-in-law, William Roper. He was also in Persuasion as the foolish Sir Walter Elliot and in Four Weddings and a Funeral as Hamish. Redgrave was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2000 which continued to affect him until he died in 2010. In June 2005, he was admitted to hospital following a severe heart attack in a public meeting in Basildon, Essex. However, he recovered enough to return to the stage in 2009. 
Sadly, Redgrave was reported to have become ill early Sunday morning on the 4th of April in 2010 and he died Tuesday 6th of April at St George's Hospital in London, aged 70. This next lady is not a famous lady, but her tombstone describes her death, so I decided to come back and do a bit of uh, research, and I shall read you the actual report of her death, made by her father to the Morning Post on the 23rd of October in 1845. Shortly after 8 o'clock on the 11th, which was a Saturday, I was sitting in my dining room with my back to the deceased, who was sitting at the table, when suddenly I discovered a strong light behind me, and before I could turn round, the deceased exclaimed, Father, I'm on fire! And I found her standing up close to the table in one mass of flames. I caught her immediately in my arms, and with my hands I succeeded in putting out the flames, but having no water to hand to put out the burning clothes, I took her upstairs to the kitchen, but in ascending the staircase a draught of air again set her dress in flames. I immediately ran to get some water, where I found that there was not a drop to be obtained in the house, during which time the deceased was rushing from place to place and screaming from the excruciating agony she was suffering. With the assistance of a young man named Gay, the fire was eventually ex extinguished, but not before she was dreadfully burnt and expired on the Monday evening. Before her death, she informed her father that she had let fall a piece of lighted cotton on the carpet and that on placing her foot upon it, her dress caught fire. The verdict was accidental death. <laughs> joint publication, Lyrical Ballads, Wordsworth helped launch the Romantic Age in English literature. He is arguably England's most famous poet. I Wandered a Lonely Cloud, also commonly known as Daffodils, is one of the most popular poems of Wordsworth. On the 26th of April 1850, Wordsworth died at Rydale Mount of an aggravated case of pleurisy and he was buried at St Oswald's Church, Grasmere. Mary Coleridge, his widow, published his autobiographical poem as the prelude several months after his death. It was not well received at the time, but has since come to be widely regarded as his masterpiece. In the Poets' Corner in Westminster, there was erected a memorial just for Wordsworth. <laughs> 